Good morning, good morning, happy Tuesday, and welcome to day three. Can you believe that we're almost halfway through the week already? And boy, have we been blessed. But let me take a quick morning moment to say hello and good morning to Sister Joy, Elder Monica, Sister Hyacinth, Brother Charles, and everybody else who was on at 7 a.m. these past two days. And thank you for joining us. Now, yesterday was a blessing. Brother Moses, he told us what we needed to have before we headed out on the journey to make disciples. We needed to first know God, have his love and compassion, and then we can start discipling in our homes, our churches, and in our community. The question is, will you go? So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome, and don't forget to come, go back and watch the previous days. You will be blessed. Make sure to join us tomorrow, day four, when women's ministry leaders, our dearest Pam, will be presenting. So once again, let me extend to you, happy Tuesday and a very blessed and happy Valentine's Day. Today will be very special. Our message will come in different parts. One will be a mother and a wife talking about love from her perspective, a husband and a wife trading off from their point of view. And we will wrap up with men's ministry leader showcasing his love and what love looks like from his point of view. So, happy Valentine's Day. May your hearts be blessed. And when you are done, go share and be loved. God bless. Love is a bond or connection between my children and I. Love is an established level of trust and emotional intimacy in my children's life. I express love for my children through affection, care, comfort, nurturing, support, and acceptance. As a mother, I always want the best for my children. As a wife, love is a promise to serve, cherish, and respect my partner. Love is that expression of care, compassion, and understanding for my partner. It includes feelings of comfort, trust, and willingness to make sacrifices. How do I receive love? Acts of service and mainly being told. I prefer for somebody to tell me how they feel as opposed to me guessing. So I receive love by being told that I'm loved and I also receive love by being shown acts of service. So that is what counts for me when it comes to how I receive love. How do I give love? It depends on who I'm giving love to. It could be my brother, my sister, whoever I'm giving love, it depends on how they receive love. Some people receive love by acts of service, by touch, by giving them gifts. So basically for me, it depends on who I'm giving love to. Um, for my children, for example, each child is a different way. They're all individuals. Um, some li like to be told, some like to be touched, some like to be, you know, just given gifts and that's it for them. So it just depends on who I'm giving the love to and how they like to receive the love. So basically that's what I can talk about love. But the main important thing is love to me is unconditional. There's nothing that anyone that I care about or somebody that I love can do that can change how I feel about them. Love to me is more than just what anyone can see. Love to me is what more than what anyone can feel or touch. To me, it's something that is unconditional, that I don't put a price tag on, that I don't put a, a, a title to. Love to me is what God gave so unconditionally to die for me as a sinner on the cross to ensure that I have a chance to be called the child of God. Thank you. To say something about love is really hard uh, because as far as I'm concerned, um, love is something that is not easy to express in words. 
uh, we have various kind of loves. We have the agape love, we have the familial love, we have the eros and the romantic love. So it's hard to <clears throat> consolidate all this together and then find yourself uh, being able to describe that. Uh, but uh, there are so many aspects that um, come to play when you are actually expressing love. So one, it depends on uh, whoever you're expressing love to and the kind of relationship. And so that will determine the kind of love that you're talking about. Uh, but um, just to look at it in a natural and to look at it um, from a very superficial point of view, I view love as the sacrifice that uh, you make to somebody that who is very dear to you. And uh, there are so many ways through which you are able to um, exhibit this. There are so, uh, so many ways uh, within which you are able to show this. Uh, so like I said, it will depend on um, who the person receiving love is and uh, how you relate with that person. Now when it comes to receiving love, it's also the same as a human being. When you feel uh, loved, you feel that somebody has really given their all, uh, be it um, a family member, be it a friend, be it a spouse. Um, you feel that they are doing any, everything and anything within their capability to make sure that um, you are safe, you get whatever you want, and you're generally happy. Um, so there could be so many examples that I could give. I know there are other people who um, express love. I personally would rather express love by showing a commitment and showing the sacrifice that I'm able to, to do. And that could be in terms, in, in terms of giving out whatever I have to do. Uh, it could be in terms of whether it's touching, it could be in terms of praying some, for somebody, it, it, it could be in terms of advising somebody to do uh, the right thing based on informed choices. Uh, so the fundamental things is it has to be something that is deep from within and it has to be something that you're doing with the utmost good faith and it is something that you're doing, giving it your all. Um, otherwise, um, like I said initially, to be able to express all this in words is uh, something that I don't think I'm able to, to do. And if I tried, then probably it would take me hours to be able to do that. Uh, but at least I've given the basic principles of how I understand love, what I understand it to be, how I'm able to express it, and how I feel I should receive it. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to the devotional for the New Brunswick Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today's topic is love. Wo aini nakupenda te quiero je t'aime ana Hibuka Tiamo Sarange I love you. What does it mean? It's hard to imagine a world without love. Today, globally, the world is celebrating love. Though it does not have clear origins, this focus on Valentine's is garnering support all around the world. But we know that God is love. There are many Bible verses that remind us of the different types of love that we experience throughout our lives. And there are also different admonitions in reference to these types of love. Matthew 22, 37. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. This love 
It's a type of love that should fuel us to do the best that we can in life and throughout our lives. Matthew 22, 39. Love thy neighbor as thyself. This communal love is so important for many of us came into this world alone and the journey throughout will require the help of others just as we will be required to help those who need our love. Luke 6, 27. Love your enemies and do good to them that hate you. This is definitely the toughest love. We are all human and fall short the glory of God. Loving your enemies is truly a task. Husband, love your wives and be not bitter towards them. Colossians 3.19 Wives, you are also instructed in Titus 24.4 to love your husbands and to love your children. And the greatest love, John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Do you have it in you to give that type of love? We don't think of Jesus' love as romantic beyond it is beyond idealistic passion. As people are celebrating Valentine's Day, which is based on Catholic Saint Saint Valentine the story goes that his love cost him his life and he was a martyr priest so today as people are buying flowers, candies chocolates, stuffed animals expensive jewelry and gifts going out on dinner dates writing little love letters. Remember God's love. His love is patient, kind. His love is not envious, not boastful, humble, selfless, but temperate, forgiving, virtuous, truthful, protecting, trusting, hopeful, and persevering. It is raw and powerful love that comes from deep within. It is who he is. 1 John 4, 18 through 19 states, such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he first loved us. How can you replicate God's characteristic of love in your life? Today, tomorrow, and every day. This is the message for today. Let us close in prayer. Most kind eternal Father, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to petition you. We ask that you be with everyone who hears my voice. Bless them and keep them. And may they come to experience your perfect love. And may they share that perfect love with others. Thank you. I ask that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, God is love. Wow, 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 wow. 
What an amazing devotion this morning. We thank you all for joining. And we look forward to the receiving the messages and the prayer that you have. So, family, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your heart will be blessed. Your family will be blessed. May God bless you. Take care.